Good morning, y'all. I'm so glad that you're joining us for our Sunday School Online program this morning. Will you say the Lord's Prayer with me to get started? Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. This is the Lord's Prayer from the Spark Bible. The disciples had seen Jesus do so many amazing things. He healed the sick, taught in the temple, and prayed to God. They wanted to learn everything they could from Jesus. Teach us to pray, they said to Jesus. Out of all the things Jesus did, they thought this was the most important thing. When you pray, Jesus said, don't be like the people who stand in the street and use big words and loud voices and long prayers. Find a place where you can be alone. Then you will think only about God. Jesus said to show the disciples how to pray. They could pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. When Jesus said these words, he was saying that God is holy and important here on earth and in heaven too. He was asking God to give him what he needed each day. Jesus was also teaching us to ask God to forgive us of our sins, which God always does, and help us to learn to forgive each other. He asked God to help him remember to do what is right and not to do what is wrong. He finished his prayer by saying that everything in the world belongs to God forever and ever. Jesus taught the disciples so much about prayer. They never forgot how Jesus told them to pray or the words Jesus used to pray to God. Right, so let's look closer into the second part of our prayer. It says, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. So that means that God wants us to live like we are people in heaven, that we are people from God, that we are living the way that God wants us to live here on the earth, just as people in heaven are living. So this part of the prayer is talking about heaven coming down to earth. This part of the Lord's Prayer is more than asking God to make that happen. We want to show God's love to all of our neighbors on earth. Do you think your actions can show Jesus' love? in your neighborhood, in your community. That kind of reminds me of John Wesley. We talked about him last month and he challenged us to do good. We had a fun kindness challenge and all of those acts of kindness are different ways to bring heaven down to earth, to show Jesus's love to all of your friends and neighbors. I know that you guys can always do a good job sharing Jesus and sharing his love. Hey friends, we're back in the kitchen this week as we continue to learn about the Lord's Prayer. So this week we're going to talk about the second part of the Lord's Prayer that says, Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. So what does that mean? What does it mean for thy kingdom to come, thy will to be done on earth as it is in heaven? That means that God wants us to follow his will, his words, and his truth that he speaks to us through the Bible. He wants us to live the way that he calls us to live by loving other people and doing good in this world to not doing harm. So this week's recipe is to make some sugar cookies, which I've already made. And so now we're going to get to the fun part. We're going to decorate those cookies. We're going to decorate them to look like the earth. So we can't wait to see your creations and see your earth cookies. So be sure to tag us in a video of your family decorating them together or the pictures of your finished creations. See y'all soon.